It's time for our Pet of the Week contest. Each week we pick a few of your pet pictures to highlight on the show and one of your pets will win a $50 gift certificate to a local veterinarian in your community. So let's get to those pictures. Our first pet is Benelli, sporting a cute Packers bandana. Oh, so precious. And look oh, yeah. at this pack. Piper, <laughs> Hunter, awesome. and Willie sporting their favorite oh, Packer shirts. How do you get them all to pose like that? I don't know. And this is our winner this week. This is Bear. Oh, so oh sweet. God. Bear, you're so cute. <gasps> and your owner wins a gift certificate. You can submit photos to the Better Half Facebook page, Twitter page, or email Pet of the Week at thebetterhalf.tv. And to find the right vet for your pet, go to wvma.org and click on resources to find a WVMA member veterinarian near you. And our favorite veterinarian is back on the show, Dr. Lisa. Hi, welcome Hi. back. So we're talking about um, keeping our pets safe during the holidays. And Levi yeah. is back, being our pet of the week <laughs> <laughs> again. <He's> thrilled. <laughs> um, what about giving a pet as a gift? Sounds fun. It does sound fun. And I think there's a lot of good intentions, but it's not always a good idea. The person you're giving a pet to as a gift, I think, has to understand there's a lot of responsibility and cost with a pet. There are food, toys, bedding, veterinary costs that come along with it. And a dog like Levi needs a lot of grooming. And so that can be pretty substantial over the course of the year. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of time and energy mm -hmm. to train a pet, right. particularly over the holidays. So Did that person, like yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So that person needs to be prepared yeah. for that. So not a good idea unless it's maybe you've, you've made a plan. You've made a plan. You've okay. talked about it. And we certainly see a lot of pets being relinquished to shelters and humane societies after the holidays. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to see that happen. All right. And what about ornaments, gift wrap, all of that? The holiday stuff that we have around cookies and treats and plants. Puppies and kittens love them. The Christmas tree is very tempting to them. Kittens especially love to climb the Christmas tree and so we have to be careful with that and then puppies love to chew on ornaments and so sometimes we see owners decorating the third just the top, top part of it of the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we need, we need to be cautious with that. And plants, poinsettias, holly, mistletoe can, can sometimes be toxic to our pets, so okay. we need to be careful. And, and I know a lot, there's always talk about the poinsettias around the holidays and, and your pets. Are, are they quite toxic? They're certainly not fatal, but okay. they can cause some stomach upset, so we certainly don't want them That's to chew on them. the last thing you want to deal mm -hmm. with. I hope you're paying attention. I heard you're getting a pet I today. <laughs> I was just thinking, we're getting each other a dog for Christmas, a Portuguese water dog. And but it comes you made in a plan. Today. Yes. And they we both agreed it. to it. We know, what it's in. we know what we're in for. Do you know if it's a girl or a boy? It's a girl. And does she have a name? And I, we are going with Heidi because she looks, I wish I had a picture, but she looks like a little mini cow. Like a little. <laughs> and she thought Heidi would be a good cow. It sounds like something a yes. cow would like. So there we go. And finally, this is something else Heidi will have to be concerned with is uh, it's so cold out this time of year. It Will is. Heidi and our pets need sweaters to, to stay warm? They might. They might need sweaters. And certainly if it's too cold for you to be out for long periods of time, it's too cold for puppies right. or kittens, particularly when they're little. So you need to be cautious. Even a dog like Levi can get frostbite on their nose, on their ear tips, okay. and on their pads. What so you, you need to be that? cautious. And you know, you just need to be careful when they're okay. outside for that period of time. And they can get ice balls caught in the in their yeah. feet. Okay. And so you need to either take that out manually or just use warm water. You oh. never want to put things like de-icing products on your pets to remove that. We okay. do see that happen. Just warm so, water. Yep, just warm water to help remove it. My <laughs> dog gets the salt in his paws when we're walking and then he tries to walk on three legs and that doesn't work out so well. So we try to avoid those heavily salted areas. And that's a really good idea because salt can be really irritating to the bottom of their feet. Yeah, he doesn't like it. All right, and then um, other ideas for finding the right vet? Good communication. That's what you want to have. They want to, you want to be able to have a good relationship with them. They should have good skills with you and good access to medical services and diagnostics. And really, they have to be good with not only pets, but people as well. Yeah, you want to be able to have that conversation. I hope you paid attention to that, too. We found you a vet. <laughs> I was about to say. For Heidi. <laughs> so if you have any questions, when we go to break. Um, thank you so much. You're Hep welcome. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you You're and welcome. Levi.